So you've decided to start training martial arts. But there are so many gyms out there. How do I know which ones are good and which ones are bad? Luckily, you've clicked on this video. Every martial art gym should spar. This is my first point because anyone can tell if you spar or not. I mean, if you're completely new to martial arts, you don't know what's good and what's bad. But if your gym spars, at least you know they're pressure testing these techniques. So the students themselves will work out what works and what doesn't work. This is why sparring for me is number one. If your gym spars, that is a great sign. The gym has skilled students. Now, as a newcomer, this might be hard to, to tell which ones are skilled and which aren't. So I'm gonna go over a few qualities that even someone with no martial art experience should be able to identify. They're in good shape. This is good because it's obvious to, even to someone with no martial arts experience, that they are dedicated and take their training and therefore the gym seriously. You could also add flexibility. If a student has great flexibility, again, they take the training seriously and then therefore the gym seriously. But the biggest way to tell if the students are skilled or not, in my opinion, is if whether or not they have fights under their name. Even if they're not the best fighters, they've at least exposed themselves to the realities of a fight. And you can't fake it when it comes to actually stepping into the ring. A good instructor. Now, if the gym has skilled students, then generally the teacher is going to be good. A lot of similar attributes from the first point will apply to this one. For instance, is the instructor in good shape? Flexibility also plays into this. If they are trying to show you a technique that they themselves can't even perform because of poor flexibility, that's a really bad sign. The last point on this is probably the most important one, and it's whether or not they're actually good at teaching you. I mean, this is really self-explanatory. Do you understand what they're saying? Are you able to learn from them? That sort of thing. Good equipment. This isn't that important, really, but good equipment is a great sign that your gym runs well. You don't need one heavy bag for every student that's there, but it's good to have the basics of equipment there. Oh, and also a ring or a cage. Like I said before, it just shows you that the gym runs well and that people are actually willing to give money to the gym. But it's not that high up on my list. Hygiene. I mean, this one speaks for itself again. You don't want a horrible, disgusting floor where you could potentially become ill from it. We all know poor hygiene is bad for you, especially when it's at a place that you're going to be spending a lot of time at. But I would much rather my gym to pass on the other points I made. That being said though, good hygiene is very important. The vibe. Now what I mean by that is, are the people there nice? Are they welcoming? Now me, I'm a bit of an introvert person, so this one's quite important to me. If I didn't feel welcome at my gym, then I probably wouldn't have stayed as long as I have. It's not the end of the world if the gym you're currently training at doesn't check all of these points I've made. Just as long as it checks, you know, a few of them. And if it checks none of them, then you need to get out of there. This video is just for people who are new to martial arts and are unsure on the qualities of a gym that make it a good gym. Comment below how long you've been training and what style you train. I love hearing about you all in the comments and hearing the different opinions you all have.